Y'all can't do no more girls' trips. That looks so bomb. Wait, how did everybody look in their outfits? They looked amazing. Kenya was the hottest. What's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. And I got Don Juan hey. and Kenya Moon. Hey. And together, we are about to speak on it. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Every time we get you here for speak on it, I already know it's gonna be a good one. Mm. Girl! <laughs> she spilled all the beans and eventually told the truth when she was drunk on some Hennessy and was sitting up there telling the truth. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling so shady today. I'm oh, tired. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's good. I know, I don't know if I'm not shady enough, don't want Really? Can you, that's what we're doing? Yeah, that's okay. It. He'll just step up for okay. me with the shade. Okay. The shade queen and king <laughs> sitting on the couch. I don't think so. I think I'm pretty calm. Uh, Don Juan can read. <laughs> really? Don Juan can read. Doing? No, Don Juan can read. I wouldn't want him to read me. Don Juan can read. I think I just state my opinion. I don't call it But it's reading. quick It's quick witted, you know. It's yeah. funny and quick witted. I don't want to just start with this episode. Oh! No, I don't want to just start with this episode. Let's okay. start on lighthearted. Bring it over here, let me see. I would like for your D to be a little bit more like a D instead of an O. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, coming into this season, right? When you knew that we were gonna have to shake things up as far as the cast was concerned. Like, what were you feeling? It was like COVID was happening, oh. we were gonna get new people. What were you thinking? You know what? I, I think a lot of it was me being I was happy to be out of the house, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and to be working again. So right. it's always good to assist it with with a job, honey. Right, right. Check. Of course. So I, I like that part, and that all of our crew would be getting checks too. So I was really happy about that. I just didn't know what to expect, and you know what the protocols would be, and are we going to be wearing masks? Are we going to be wearing, you know, like hazmat suits? Hazmat <laughs> suits, and you know, are we going to be in plastic bubbles? Like, mm -hmm. you know, are they gonna roll us out on set? Like, I didn't, I just didn't know what to expect. But I was happy to be back because I was, you know, I was in a, like a depression. You know? Yeah, I remember bad. you said that it you was wasn't bad. you weren't really feeling the yeah. whole being stuck in the house and everything alone. Yeah. Yeah, it was well, tough. I was feeling my food. You know. <laughs> uh, I, I think we a, both were. I was having a party in my mouth every day. That sounded like it was a layer of something. Uh, <laughs> 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 Not <laughs> <the wrong> <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was having a food party in my mouth every day. Yeah. It wasn't meat. <laughs> I think we all definitely gained COVID weight. So, I mean, I'm sure everybody can really see the difference in what yes. Kenya Moore looked like at the beginning of season 13 compared to how you looking now. Yes, honey. Got my snatch back. <laughs> so, let's go on to these newbies. Oh, all right. Yes. So, yes. since we got new people on the show. Um, we had Latoya, we yes. had Drew, and yes. we is it Fallon. Oh, yes. right, 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 right. Yes. So coming into it, first one you had a chance to meet was Latoya. Latoya. Yes. Now Latoya was actually my friend that I brought on the show. Yes. But you took over. <laughs> but they cut that scene out. And see, this is the thing about editing, which kind of messes things up sometimes because I think this season it was a little choppy at first because it was so much going on and so many things were getting cut out. Mm -hmm. So story was getting like lost. Right. But you shot with Latoya first. You that was your friend. Yeah, we actually knew each other yes. before this season. Yes. Like, I actually brought her into this. Yes. And mm -hmm. then we met her at our first like all yes. cast which Todd's was Todd's birthday, birthday yes. party. Mm -hmm. And so much stuff happened that night that needed to be seen. Okay. Dun -dun. Well, they cut Dun -dun. a lot of it out. They cut a lot of it out. And yeah. if you don't want to say, you didn't bring me here. We did not previously discuss it. But part of what I was really upset about is that there was a person dogging you out with, an, with our group, a second group, for speaking up for Black Lives Matter for the group. So, that peppered the way I felt about everything else I was seeing them do. That's an important scene to keep in, don't you think? Um, I think it would have explained some of your feelings in the beginning of the exactly. season. Um, because I was like, wait a minute. 
if you are gaining um, access for us and, and keeping this movement moving forward and fighting for us on your own, why are you offended by that? But there was a little situation that happened before the early in the season when we first got started where, you know, there was like a something leaked from a blogger that there was a group text from some of my other castmates that said something about me basically because of... Led by her. Led, led by... Um, uh, yeah. Just because of... Um, <laughs> I'll take a sip. Some too. things that I was um, trying to make happen um, for us as a group. It was very interesting to hear the conversations that people would have about black people not knowing that I myself am black. Behind the scenes. To advance that was not public. black people in at our job. Yes, our so, so it was talked about in a particular scene and that scene had been cut out. So you guys never got a chance to see that. Mm -hmm. Basically you're saying those things kind of tainted how you felt at that time. Yes, because that's disingenuous to me. You can't say you're out here fighting for everyone, but you're fighting for people and then she has a problem with it. And that is, that is to me, that's fake. Because why would you have a problem with what you're doing if it advances and helps us all? This woman just started kicking my chair. Do you think that saying, I don't see color, is kind of offensive? Yeah, it just looks like I'm like questioning her for no reason. But it's like, no, I have a reason. Can I ask who's her? Is she? Yeah, I think she's, you know. Uh, what, it, uh, what is it? Uh, social justice. Uh, don't, don't you do it. <laughs> don't you do it. That's what I'm talking about. So, okay. So, SJ well, has. originally we was talking about it. How you met Latoya, which you made you start talking about the scene that yes. got cut out. Yes, exactly. So she started talking about the scene that got I, cut I out, got all and that. that took her to this other I got all situation that. Right. that was going on in her head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> True, because that's when we all met, and also mm -hmm. that's when Latoya and I really connected because she was telling me all about her husband and things that were happening with her, and she and that's the first time she actually brought up. Drew, and she had like a picture of Drew on her phone and her hair. Remember? Oh, she was saying something crazy about Drew. Yes, and, and, we were, and I was like, who is Drew? Drew? Like, I was like, I didn't even know who Drew was. And I didn't know she was a part, really, at that point, a real part of the cast. Yes, yeah, so basically what happens, guys, is that when they decide to bring new people to interact with the cast, we never know who's actually going to end up being a housewife or being a friend of the show or whatever. So we don't know when they're going to bring new people in. They don't necessarily tell us all the time. So at this particular um, scene, which was a birthday party that I had for Todd or whatever, um, Latoya was there and she was making comments about Drew. But at the time, Drew had not filmed with us. Right. So, so I was just like, who is Drew? Who is Drew? And then she yeah. showed me a picture and I was like, okay, yeah, that is not that hair is a hot ass mess. Oh my God. Really? No, I'm not it trying to. It was a picture. No, it was, a, it was really, it was worse than anything we've seen. Can you really? Yeah, you really are yeah. doing it. I'm worse than anything you've seen. No, I have not You seen some bad situations on this It picture. was the worst I've ever seen. Okay, I'm not even No, it was. I'm not even, try, I'm not even trying to be shady. I'm being honest. Like, it is, it's not shady if it's true. I cannot with And you. it's okay because, you know, we, we've gone past that and people in the, in the circle have helped her but out. But I think and everybody does that. Point. I'm like, sorry. I think yeah. when you come on this show... You like get haze. You you need a year or two. To my makeup was a mess the first okay. season. Like in my interviews, I got it together, but my makeup it mm -hmm. was horrific because I'm coming from a different medium, mm -hmm. and where you know they take the time and you have professional hair and makeup people that right. know the lighting and the cameras. Mm -hmm. When you get on reality, you don't know what the lighting. You think you're supposed to look all dewy and stuff. Dewy looks a hot mess on high def cameras. <laughs> Girl, my first season, I was like, what the hell? My lips look like they were like chalk half the time. Well, Girl, I, I think was, we I all... I was a mess. That you first, a your, your first year, I think, until you see yourself. So, and then you know how to make the adjustments. Or you see your yeah. first interviews, even. And no, then my like, interviews were all no, I'm not saying. Not mine. <laughs> my first year. When you year, watch your first interviews back in the middle of the yes. season, 
by the end of the season, you, get it you become a different person. Yeah, yeah. Let's so, you didn't get that. Let's get her opinion on Fallon. Okay. okay, okay. So, well, I didn't get my opinion on Drew. Oh, okay. Go ahead, give your opinion. So, on listen, Drew. Latoya came in. She had she was super cute, burst of energy, very just bubbly and just free spirited and like a little firecracker. From the first time she set foot on the set with me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, she, I, I kind of like her. And then she was just talking about her husband and the mm -hmm. divorce. And I was like, I, I like her. You know, it's something, you know, we have yeah. that is um, in common. So, you know, we just we just hit it off. Her laugh was funny to me. Just <laughs> She has the funniest laugh. Like, really, she does. And then Drew, I met her um, at Cynthia's mm -hmm. uh, wine tasting. Mm -hmm. And she, we hit it off. Like, you know, she was, mm -hmm. we were cool. They didn't show all of that. Mm -hmm. We were talking about people we knew in common. Mm -hmm. We were talking about um, the fact that she wanted to produce. I have produced movies and television and mm -hmm. workout videos and commercials. <laughs> and I mean, I'm a director, writer, producer. You know what I'm saying? I do it all. So I was like, you know, we, I can help you. You know, let's talk. There was no issue between us. Like there were no issues. Okay. So, but I thought, you know, she was, she was cool. She and Latoya bumped heads that first night. Okay. Remember? Yeah. And then Fallon. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't see Fallon when you guys met Fallon, but mm -hmm. when I did meet her on the trip and I got to like interact with her, um, through telephone mm -hmm. conversations and stuff like that, I was like, why doesn't this girl have a peach? Okay. Yeah. I really would like to see more of Fallon. On I want to see more of Fallon. And actually I want to see Fallon as a peach holder. Mm-hmm. Mm Listen, I have developed... For Kenya more yes. to say, give you a peach. Yeah. No, because this is what y'all, you guys don't see. We have... Fallon and I, we go to lunch, we talk, mm -hmm. we we have a friendship. Mm -hmm. So... I yes, didn't know that. Yeah, a lot. We don't... I don't talk about that. I don't post the pictures. It's like, you know, <laughs> I'm getting to know her, you know. Mm -hmm. But what I know of her, I hate that the show did not capture her as right. who she really can bring. She's, she's shy. Mm-hmm. But she has so much. She has children with, she has a child with autism. Mm -hmm. She homeschools. She's like, her husband is what, tw I don't know, 20 years older than her. Mm -hmm. She has three kids. He married her after three kids. She got the life. Too. She has the life. She, she got has the money. A, she has a private plane that is she's, hers. She's where the money resides. She's where the money resides. <laughs> where the money resides. 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 Yeah, she is. And that's so what? Mary, Mary had, had a little lamb. <laughs> but I was like, and just that she is, she can, she got that street in her too. She got, she has some edge, which we'll see later. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is a lot to her. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, we see that she's stunningly beautiful. Yes. After you mention all three, who is your favorite? Who's your favorite? Fallon is my favorite. What? I would never have thought that you would say Fallon would be your favorite as much as you had your girl crush from on Latoya. Well, um, you know. Uh, I had a girl crush. <laughs> That's what the key word. What happened? That's the key word. What happened? These hoes ain't loyal. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened. <laughs> what? That's what happened. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Well, I did see the, um, at first that you and Latoya, you guys really, really kicked, hit it off in the beginning. And then at some point it did take a slight turn. Yes. But I do but know. she got turned out. Really? Too much slurping, too much peach juice. So, the views and opinions expressed by Kenya Moore <laughs> and Kenya Moore Incorporated are not the views expressed by Don Juan. Speak on it, Candy Coda Entertainment or Candy Burns. We reserve the right. <laughs> not the disclaimer. <laughs> oh, my God. So, no, it just, you know what? I, I still like LaToya. Mm -hmm. I don't think that she thinks... Um, we're, we just don't think the same way and I've tried to tell her don't do this don't say that don't blah 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 everyone has Cynthia has said it you have said it mm -hmm. she doesn't listen to anyone's well, advice Kenya, and, and, well Kenya in defense in defense some no, people would say to, to you still some people would say to you don't say that Kenya Kenya why did you just say that so do you listen all the time mm -hmm. I mean you guys know that <laughs> they're, they're both Aquarius <laughs> that's what I'm saying oh that's right <laughs> You know what? Um, I I love that she she is a free spirit. She asked 
to for us to get her out of trouble and she doesn't listen to our advice that's the difference yeah you know so um i stay in trouble so it's it's it's, it's, it's nothing for me i think she's coming for your title though as far as a person that stays in trouble she can have it (laughs) (laughs) she stays in trouble at least stays in trouble and she doesn't see that other people don't have her best interest in mind. This whole season is like a roller coaster. It's like some people are cool, some people are, you know, go through these things. Um, let specifically, even if we just touch on the simple fact of um, what did happen at the first party that they cut out. Portia mm-hmm. and I did speak after that. We squashed it, and we became cool in the season. Now, what I would say is a lot of people, the fans. They get upset if I'm cool with Portia or if I'm cool with you. Mm-hmm. Then they feel like, ah, da, 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 da. But how do you they feel? They do that to everyone, which is not cool. Like, mm-hmm. stop bullying us about who we can be friends with. Right. Either you, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop bullying us. Like, yeah. if we have a connection with someone, we have a connection with right. someone. Mm-hmm. And those connections can vary. It can mm-hmm. be, I'm a light, you know, you might be a lightweight friend to this one. Right. You might be a real friend to this one. You might be a ride or die for this other one over here. So our friendships are ever evolving mm-hmm. and there are, there are levels to this. Right. And if we, you know, as girls, if we see something that happens and we address it and we truly want to move forward and move on, then let us. Right. You know what I mean? Don't right. be over here ride or dying for this person. Like, How can you be friends with that person? Like, that's just some high school <laughs> stuff. Last, you know, you should be at least 18 and over watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, for sure. Okay, so act like you're 18 and over. Mm-hmm. So let's <laughs> move right along. I don't want to get to the... I'm still ahead of... I'm still before this episode. Okay. Let's move on to one of the most talked about episodes. Oh, wait, before I go to that, have you noticed how everybody was saying, oh, Housewives are so boring. Oh, know, right. Now, all of a sudden, it after up. it heated up with the... Then they got the problems still. Yes. <laughs> I'm then, like, no, now they say it's the best season ever. Right. Okay. Thank you. I'm like, first of all, y'all got to give us some grace because let's, yes. let's remember when you're introducing new characters and everything. We're, that we were in Corona. 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 But no, we, COVID. Were in Corona. we were in the middle of the coronavirus, COVID-19, mm-hmm. a pandemic, um, civil unrest. All of this stuff happening, people rioting in the streets, mm-hmm. people being killed in front of us on television. It was a really dark and hard time. Exactly. And then it started seizing again. It's unprecedented. How do we shoot a television show in, in the, the middle, middle of, of all of this going on? Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? And and we started also very late this season too. Mm-hmm. And then we only have five housewives also. Exactly. And then that the fifth housewife wasn't even shooting with us for like seems like half the season you know everybody you know sometimes a season does take a little time of getting an adjustment and then once they did yeah we was on fire no this okay. the rest of the season like the season really began in south carolina on the trip that's when it started yes yes okay so yes the night of the party yes <laughs> it was a little buck wild <laughs> <laughs> Not a little, everybody a little, knows. It was a lot, but it was wild. literally bucking okay. going on. But yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <It was> literally <laughs> bucking. Go on. Go on. <laughs> so, my question is for the people, we have to ask what made you so adamant about putting people on blast about what they did or did not do at the night of the bachelorette party? I was bored. No. <laughs> Is that what we do? Let me be messy. I'm bored. So, okay. Well, here, here's for me. Did you feel like you had the right to say it because... I you... had I had the right to say it because we are working and we are in a cast house that we're all sharing. Mm. And there are no secrets when you're in a cast house. That's how I felt. Mm. You know, I understand it was your party. I understand all of those terms Mm -hmm. but i didn't see any nda come across my desk so um i'm talking so okay well what do you say to the people in theory who feel like you're slut shaming well i would say you need to look at those people that i'm talking about because they have slut shamed all of us and they have also talked about people being lesbians too do you remember um the season i believe it was season five and 
some uh, that Portia said something about Nene and Cynthia being lesbians and she kind of like made a, a face about it and things like that. And let's not talk about the sermon she did um, where she was talking about whores and gays and everyone in between needed salvation. So please, That wasn't so. on the show. Oh, okay. Well, it was said. And she also <laughs> tried to say I was sleeping with some one-eyed married African man that I was not. And I've never known. <laughs> you know, and it goes on and on and on. She oh. also talked about Claudia Jordan and I um, sleeping with people and not getting any money for it or anything for it. She also talked. I mean, I could go so on and feel, on. I'll okay. save it for the reunion. So you feel yeah, justified. You got your whole list. I know. I you ready? I'm she ready. is like I'm armor saying, with saying, the bullets <laughs> already cocked and loaded. I'm yeah. sitting here like, yeah. like, I'm like, wait, wait, what? Okay. What? The fans tend to forget and have short memories when it comes to their favorites. But the truth of the matter is, if you look at his, if you historically speaking, Portia and other people have slut shamed me and and several other people in our cast. Remember Claudia Jordan. So please don't act like this is brand new to this show or to her. Okay, got it. Okay, I, I understand that. Do you feel that sometimes you just get the bad rap because you're vocal about? how you feel and that's just kind of something like no matter what you say they're gonna just give you the bad rep say that's just Kenya yeah I mean you know listen I'm I'm tough I'm I'm strong and I'm strong-willed and I really just don't care what people think I'm going to say the truth I didn't lie on anyone mm -hmm. and that is what made me upset too yeah I'm playing around at first I really didn't care mm -hmm. you know and I just kind of brought it up and, you know, we were doing the investigation and things like that. And then when things turned and I was called a liar and I was hearing things um, that wasn't shown on, on screen about being sued and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, no, see, now you've gone too far. <laughs> now you have gone too far. Now I'm going to make it a point to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But you can't handle the truth. <laughs> So, okay, and I, and I get this, Kenya, because I think, you know, we're both very vocal, but so do, have you ever walked out or seen a season back and been like, oh my God, what, what am I doing? Oh, come on, every season. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every season I feel like that. Oh, speaking of which... Oh my God. Um, I know you have done some outrageous things and she has said some outrageous things, but you and Marlo have come to a good place. Yeah. And so is that still today? Are y'all still in a good place? Yeah. Um, did I see her the other day? I feel like I saw her the other day. Um, we talk all the time. We, we are in a good place. Like Marlo, I never really wanted to fall out with her anyway, mm -hmm. but I just thought that, you know what, girl, why are you hitting me below the belt about about a housewarming party? But for her, it was much deeper than that. It mm -hmm. was a rejection. And I think that is a part of her that really, she's very sensitive about. Mm -hmm. And that's why I understand it now when I really look at it. I'm like, I'm not excusing what you did, but I understand that that is a trigger for you. Mm -hmm. And she did care about me as a friend. Mm -hmm. And she just didn't understand why did I choose this person over her mm -hmm. because she was closer to me, mm -hmm. and I and I and I and I get it. Mm -hmm. yep. So I, I I feel bad that she had any pain or issues about what I did, but at the same time, you know, it's been a long train. It's, been, it's, it's just finally like, come to a halt. It, it's just like I'm not doing this again with you because you know it's just not worth I like Marlo mm -hmm. you know what I mean she's funny she she can be very funny mm -hmm. um fashionable fashionable you know she's a good kiki she's a good to she's you know she's willing to go out hang out do stuff like I can hang out with her mm -hmm. so it's, it's cool and I know she's well, she, if you cross her, she's going to pull up some text messages. Oh, uh, what? So don't she, text her. She's she going to be ready. <laughs> anyway, we're beyond that now. Yeah. But yeah, she's cool. And now I look at her Instagram now and I laugh. Uh -oh. you know, because before I had her blocked. <laughs> so now that she's not blocked, it's, it's cool. Her so Instagram is actually really cute. Okay. So the thing that is also, well, now the relationship that is bad, that is continuing, is you and Drew. Yeah, which I you never Drew understood. You and Drew and you and Portia. 
Those yeah. two relations relationships are just well, like they're the same person. How are they the same person? They are the same person. No, they buddy. are the same oh. person. Why would the you only say thing that? is Drew is smarter, but they are the same person. No, if listen, <laughs> I see things on a different level. Y'all, y'all take seasons to catch up to me. I, y'all Whoa, was that just a read? Did you just <laughs> call us slow? <laughs> she just basically was like your candy coated slow or something. <laughs> like that. Yeah, like what? Just a read. Okay. No, it's true. I try to warn people about. Anyway, I'm not going to go backwards, but okay. several people in the group, whenever I have said anything about them, everything has always come to its head to be true. Mm. Okay? I'll let y'all marinate on that. Okay. My thing is, I feel like... But Drew, listen, let me okay. say this. I don't have a problem <laughs> with Drew like that. I see that she's, she's just grasping for... Relevancy. Oh no, no, that's it. Is that is that a me? for re- relevancy? Yeah, you just basically said she's not relevant. It, it's that's a fact. Oh, I mean, that's I, a fact. I think she's been good for the show. No, I didn't say the show. I mean, the, she, relevancy. The, in- the the show makes you relevant, and what you do. She wasn't relevant before. She had many years of not working. She is Kenya. trying to get her. She's here because she needs to work Kenya. again. Kenya. Yes, it's true. I'm not saying she came from obscurity. I'm saying in the recent years, she hasn't had a job. But what if she was to say, well, Kenya, I saw you on Waiting to Exhale. Lionel, you haven't danced with me all night. <laughs> where? Was. But what she say, where? Where since then? She could say, I want to... I'm just saying, but what if she was to say that? Child, I'm on a show right now. You can catch it, uh, Family Reunion on Netflix. She's fabulous when she's on it. I, I was just I asking. Have a recurring role on there and others coming up. Uh, okay. 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 What I'm taking, what you're saying is, is to stay a part of the show. Yeah, and be relevant within the show. Gotcha. Exactly. Right. Yes. That's the way I'm trying to keep you your say. job. Yes. To stay a part of the show. And stay on the show. Well, I think she, I, yes. well, you know, I mean, and I'm not looking at, at taking the shade out of what she's yeah. saying. Um, a lot of newbies have come and go. Yes. But the ones they that have stick never around. Stuck. None have stuck since uh, me and Portia. Not no, one. They only stick like two years. The most was Eva two seasons. My point of saying Drew's this work is, for second season already. I feel that Drew will be back. For mm-hmm. another season. She's worth a second And season. I feel that a lot of that is the fact that, well, she does have a great story of her own and her personal life with her marriage. And, you know, she got multiple kids. Why that and face? her mother. That's a good story. I'm just going to let Candy finish talking. Let me finish my point let before y'all finish. start getting shady. Let let, before y'all start. Let her finish her before point. y'all start. I'm going to stick up with my little tourist friend. No, I love her. Right so now. I'm like, why that face? Okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I like her personal story. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that she also has, you know, different things happening between cast members mm-hmm. definitely gives her that thing that needs to bring her back again Absolutely. in my mind. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm taking. I'm taking the shade out of what you're saying and I'm going to keep what I want to keep. No, I get you. Well, why, why, you, didn't, you didn't feel like she had a personal story? Oh, I was just listening to Candy. But no, you, your face Speak, says something else. Just like you said, I'm miles ahead of you with my discernment in your face, and your face said something else. So that's what I'm asking. Listen, um, can you more speechless? I've I, never. Had... I no, I'm I'm I am uh, stuttering. Not, I've never no, seen I'm you not stuttering. stuttering. I'm not stuttering. I, I'm not stuttering. I, I, I'm not stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next question. <laughs> That's what I feel about that. So I'm just saying, it's those two people. And with you and Drew this season, it's like, it. I don't know where it goes. Like, we saw it on tonight's episode. Yes. Now we can get to tonight's episode. That little conversation y'all was having with the same. It was so weird. Yeah. It what? was weird to be there. I was like in the twilight zone. I'm like, you're not letting like me something talk. that we cannot even can speak about. Why are you talking song? like this? It was so weird. Like, why is she singing? Okay, and... so I don't know how to address oh. you. The thing is, she kept saying the same thing over and over. And I was like, can we, you know, listen, I'm willing to just move past that and start over. Are you? And she was like, yes. And then she's like, but but what I really want to say is, did you do you understand what I was talking about? Like, I was just like, ah! It was hilarious to me. You know, 
know, she's always talking about she's so great at communication. She's so great at this. And I'm like, we just said we would move on. And this is the other thing that really bothered me about what she was doing. And I felt like it was on purpose. She kept talking about my daughter in scenes mm -hmm. and at the table, which they kept cutting out. Mm -hmm. She knew I couldn't talk about my daughter because of her, at the time, she wasn't supposed to even be on the trip with us. Uh -huh. So that's why whenever she oh, would bring I it up, I would be like, we can't talk about that. But then in the next scene, she would talk, she would bring it back up. And then we sat at the table and she brought it back up like three times. I'm like, I see what you're well, doing. See, and I, I'm you're gonna... just doing that on purpose now because you're not dumb. Mm -hmm. And you keep bringing my daughter up and I keep telling you, I'm not allowed to talk about that. But you keep asking me okay. about it. So that's that gives me like, some okay. insight because yes. I'm going to be honest, as a viewer, when I saw the episode in uh, South Carolina, I felt like she was actually on your side. No, you didn't see the whole thing. But that's what I'm we saying. Right. Can tell you. When, when she Candy was asking. Candy started off. About, yes, it was It felt that, that way. way. You also didn't see her storm off and cry down the street and all kind of drunk. Oh, okay, oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. um, was, was Candy can tell that. you that and we we said this on the on the on the hayride she was very in my face and okay. she was like you know well you told me not to tell people and um and I, I was like well you think that's gonna make me trust you more if you you bringing up in this way like <laughs> that's gonna make me trust you and then she showed my text messages like you're a narc you know well, why are you doing this <laughs> What did I ever do to you? Like, what's wrong with you? And then she was like, oh, we're going to play who's the fakest, who's the real. Can you go? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not falling for that, honey. They cut that out. So this, Oh, they took out the who's the fakest and who's the real. No, she said it. She said, she said it, it. But they didn't show her coming to me oh, first. And right. like, well, I feel Kenya, you. She did. Right. It was yes, nice. Yes, they made it oh. look that way. But it wasn't that way. It was very aggressive toward me. And that's why I was like, and that's why my interview bite didn't necessarily match the energy. Because I was mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, girl. Why are you coming at me like this? Because she was, well, what about this? You said not to tell. You, I've asked you about your family. I've done this. Well, it was this. a long conversation. It was so that you guys long. Had. Okay. Yes. Yeah, very long. And they cut it down to like 10 seconds. Well, I think for, for me, but as for a the viewer, viewers, yes. I understand. Now, being that there, sense. I got she was on your side. Now, understanding the concept of what you were saying about what you had personally, I also understood more of why you got so upset. Because yeah. at first, I was just like, why is she, she kept so asking upset? me about, and she asked me about my daughter again at the table when I had just told her I cannot talk about it on camera. Ah. Uh. Legally, I could not talk about it. Can we say something about the kid thing? Yes, Candy. Let's say something about the kid Let's thing. Let's talk about that <laughs> since, we, since we want to go back to that. I was gonna Are like you to sure you that. want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because um, what I, I want people to understand, because they was like, why are y'all upset about Okay, what I want people to understand is, for a long time on this show, we were not allowed to bring our kids. Before you came on the show, other people, I'm not going to be named as, we had kids and another person had a small baby or whatever. And they were not allowed to bring their babies in the house, on the trips or anything. Okay. Mm. So for me, when you would say things like, if y'all want to bring y'all kids out, my mom like, mm -hmm. no, we can't. Because you had we're a different experience supposed. with the show. Yes, but all this time, the first time I ever even... I saw them be okay with kids coming to the cast house on a trip. Which Kim one we were in. She heard kids. Oh, you said to house. the cast house. I'm talking about in Greece. Is when when you and um Portia brought your uh, kids. That's the first mm. time. Now I've been on the show for years before yeah, that, yeah. and I've had kids. You know, other people had kids, and we were not allowed to bring our kids on the trip. And that and that had nothing to do with us girls. That was from that was the, our the rules from. You know, it's, our bosses. It's okay? inferior liability. So, from my standpoint, we weren't supposed to. So, that was the first thing. So, it made it look to you like they were breaking the rules for me. Yes. It felt and real Kim Zosiak-ish is what you, they felt. <laughs> you guys turned on me because you felt like 
that was somehow my fault that they were breaking the rules for me. No, 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 no. What made I me... I heard the conversation. I actually heard y'all arguing downstairs listen, for about an hour, no, led by Portia. No, listen, what I got pissed off about that night was, because I was, when you and I had talked and you told me that you didn't have the good babysitter yeah. and all that, and I was like, okay, And you actually well. took up for me on the bus, which was like... Right, because I understood. understood that you were saying, I'm not going to leave my child with no new babysitter right. in town. So I was like, okay, right. I'm okay with that. But when you use that as an excuse to end the night early, because you and Marlo had just finished arguing, and you know, y'all added to our schedule. We had already been working twelve or fourteen hours that day. But y'all all and y'all we were all, like, oh, oh let's no, no, do no. the uh, game or whatever. I was like, well, that's not a part of my Can itinerary. Y'all yeah. want to add work to our schedule? Can you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. you know, we always tape late at night on those trips. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I felt like you was using that as an excuse to get out of work early, basically. Yeah, I heard y'all down there arguing about, and it was Portia mainly, it wasn't you. It was Portia, um, and then she was bringing in where she thinks her mothering is better than our mothering. Then I heard her say, well, you know, I didn't know if it was an option, we, could, we, we didn't have to film. Or, you know, she kept talking about option. It was all her. And that was firing you up. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> I think you said it was firing me up. It was firing no, I, me up. My whole thing is. It was, Candy. It was. I it heard was. it for myself. My I was two pissed ears. anyway. I'm the one who came to your door to tell you come I on. know you did. but when, <laughs> I know you did. Because but my, when you went back down there, that whole conversation was being had and it wasn't included on the show. Well, no, that wasn't included on the show. And but I heard my, all, of, all of you guys down there. Okay. But my point is, regardless of whatever the situation is. I know that made you mad. I heard you. Yes, but regardless of whatever the situation is, you felt like I wasn't working. Right. Yes. And the and next felt, night. And the same the way when night. other cast members, I'm not going to name names, in the past have like decided they're going to end the night early on trips. Right. And they pissed us off. Right. So right. I was just like, that's not cool. Okay. That was my... That was my I mean, point. I think, and then what we say is the next night is Miss Chocolate worked later that night. The dungeon is a no-judgment zone. <laughs> So I think that that's where the discrepancy lies. It's like, well, chocolate worked later last night, but last the earlier she had to go in at the library. Yeah, she had a curfew last night. I was on overtime that night. <laughs> Bless it, baby. That move is called chocolate souffle. <laughs> I was getting my coins up. <laughs> this episode. Where do we begin? So for me, I'm not gonna lie. You mentioned something earlier where it went to Marlo, and you said you you felt the rejection that she felt. So that's why you I understood you it. understood it. Mm -hmm. When I watched this episode, I got a lot more insight from, you know, you speaking to your dad, but also in the counseling session. I don't know what my next move is, but therapy will be a good start to just help me get somewhere. I think you hit a lot more into why, because I'm not gonna lie. You're yeah. a beautiful woman. You're strong. People always wonder, why the hell are you with your husband? Like, I mean, he's not attractive. Yeah, guy. but they still are like, no, how not, they, It's not just because he's attractive. attractive. What made me fall in love with him is that he was um, charming, he was smart, he was um, educated, well spoken, he was fine, um, he was <laughs> successful, um, and he was just, you know, he, he was really into our union and we wanted the same things at the same time. Now, why wouldn't you fall for a man like that? Absolutely. And he was age appropriate. You know what I, I mean? I like agree he was with all ready. of that. Like he, you know, I think the question you're saying is why stay? Why stay? Why with the, stay? What, and that's based off yeah. of what they see. They're right. like, right. okay, can you, girl, yeah. you're this strong woman. You're beautiful. Why are you staying with yeah. somebody who is giving you all the signs like your dad said? Y'all been together for three years and half of the three years been separated. Right. So yeah. I think that that gave some insight into your relationship patterns. Do you feel like they learned a lot more in that? I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't watch that scene. I was crying when I was watching it because I was like, you know how you do these scenes and, and then when you see it back and you see what you actually say, and I was really just flat out a open book. And I was like, wow, you know, um, and I just, just tears, I, I, could, I couldn't watch it. I just couldn't watch it, but um, I'm still working on that part, and um, I definitely have my voice back, and I definitely see that it's a pattern there. 
with I mean, guys that I fall for, not yeah. the ones that fall for yeah. me, the ones that I fall for. Mm-hmm. And um, and he definitely fits into that because, you know, as much as he, I know my husband loves me, he does not want a divorce, and I don't care what people say, they don't live my life, they don't see the phone calls and the mm-hmm. notes and the gifts and the flowers that come. I don't post all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't post text messages from my husband. Those are private. You know, it's a, it's a struggle because on the one hand, we, we both love each other and we, we want to make it work, but it's not working. And it only is going to work if two people are, are in counseling separately, you know, mm-hmm. apart and together. But if one person is not willing to do both, it's it's just not it's just not going to heal what's broken within us. Okay. You're talking about counseling. I guess my question I saw the one episode. So do you feel that your part in doing the counseling is healing this person who maybe has went down this pattern of like dealing with things that Yeah, they- because it's about recognizing your the why the whys mm, yes it's about learning why you choose the way you choose because some people are not what they say some people are just bad pickers no that's <laughs> not, i don't know if that's, that's <laughs> some people are bad pickers i've it's had great guys in my in my in my dating history i've had very long-term relationships three and four years yeah. that mm-hmm. weren't in a marriage i've had over 10 proposals 10 yeah my dad can tell you that yes i get a ring <laughs> Okay, I get all right. I mean, you all know, right, let's get a ring, honey. Y'all saw chocolate in action, but but you know get what? It's ring. funny because it's not even. It's not about sex. It's mm-hmm. I don't. I don't get proposed to um, based on sex. Mm-hmm. It's really me not having sex with them and me get making people. Oh, you got a rule or something? No, I'm like, what? you got a rule? No, you. Uh, yeah. What's the rule? I mean, you're not going to get sex at least for two or three months. I mean, usually it was three months. Well, what about I've had guys up? waiting longer than that, like a year. And I still what? got a proposal. Okay, yes. can I ask a question? long distance. Oh, Did okay. you do anything else besides full intercourse? I mean, you're going to kiss and no, make no, out. No, no, no. I meant other I, stuff. I mean, you ask it too much now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tell you all I did or something like You tried it. <laughs> How like <laughs> so y'all wanna sit here and say, Oh, she can't keep a miss. Some men ain't worth keeping. Did you ever think about that? Like people no, are I so agree silly. On that. No, no, and I, I, I they think that having a man is validating you as a woman. I, I, and I that's totally unfortunate agree. for women out there because a, a man cannot validate you. You have to be able to validate yourself, and that's what this whole process is has helped of, you correct of going to counseling is mm-hmm. is making me understand it but that was never my issue because i already know i know how to get a, a ring i know how to get proposed to because mm-hmm. i know you know i, I am the chocolate shit <laughs> um, but uh anyway well, i mean for <laughs> me I think, shit. I think i did watch it back and was like okay i understand it because the one thing i don't think they well no i think we do see it we saw a lot of it last season or the seasons that you did have your husband on there you're a different Kenya mm-hmm. in relationships. Yes, you are. I'm not going to lie. I you are way yeah. more a passive and very much more soft. of the soft. And, uh, yeah. You're not as strong of a like boisterous woman yeah. when you're in a relationship. Is that is that in every relationship? I just don't. I'm a happy person. Okay. Um, naturally. Mm-hmm. And... Not a whole lot of things bother me. Mm -hmm. So if it's like, well, you want to go to this restaurant? That's fine. If somebody's maybe upset about something, I just don't have relationships that you argue Mm -hmm. back and forth. I don't know how to explain it. It's not really, I pick and choose my battles. That's how to Mm -hmm. explain it. I pick and choose my battles. Mm -hmm. And not everything is a battle to me. I think an important thing coming into this episode was the blogs and the whole thing about the party leaking to the blogs. What is that? It says two Real Housewife Atlanta stars allegedly had sex with stripper at Cynthia Bailey's bachelorette. So, you know, everybody assumed Point that is. King of all is the one who leaked it to the blog. Who do you think leaked this to the press? I think it was an inside job. Definitely someone who was there and told someone else and then they leak the information. Yes. So you gotta what answer. do you have to say about <laughs> that? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, no, I, no, all seriously, I mean, seriously speaking, I did not leak 
get to page six or the blogs. I don't bother with page six because they were printing things about me that were very unfavorable. Mm -hmm. They were saying, they did a whole thing with Marlo was saying my Birkin bags were um, not real. That was so embarrassing to me for somebody to be as prestigious as they are to put that in writing without any proof or, you know, or any comment from me. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't like that. And so it was other stuff that they had printed that was, you know, very nasty. So if I'm going to run to a blog, it wouldn't have been page six. Right. But B. Scott po posted about it too. Later. <laughs> Later. Uh, okay. So tell us how much do you love B. Scott? I love B. Scott. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I love B. Scott. Okay. We, we're friends. Like B. Scott was in one of my music videos. I love B. Scott. B. Scott was getting um, exclusives on Real Housewives of Atlanta before I, I even joined the cats. Right. So please don't act like now all of a sudden I'm his source. All right. I just wanted to give you a chance to clear it up. <laughs> Y'all heard it first right here. <laughs> we talked about the start. Are you and Drew going to get better over time? Are we going to? Woo! I think she kind of kills it for everybody. Just give her some time, honey. She just kills us all off one by one. <laughs> Okay, so you said she kills off everybody. Do you feel like it was, I guess, a target with you? Because in episodes, you'll see, like, she's always like, maybe she'll keep a man. Oh, what about her husband? Like, in a lot of the episodes, she asked a that. Lot, I think it's probably every single episode. It's literally been a run. If we're in episode 15, it's been since episode 3. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing even happened. Like, what? And you know, you, we didn't, we didn't start airing the show mm -hmm. and she was going in on my husband on every single episode. And I was just like, bitch, do you know you never met him? Do you know that I have never said anything about your husband ever? What would you say? Or your marriage. I'm, I'll say that for the reunion, honey. <laughs> I'll say that for the reunion. You know, the Shade Assassin has been sitting back watching. Oh, my God. Not the Shade Assassin. The Shade Assassin has been sitting back, honey, watching and keeping score. Not keeping score. This is so... And the last straw... And yeah. that's fine. And fair, we can go back and forth on that, but I think the final straw... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she told you the last yeah, straw. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> How did I get to a last straw? I don't even know you, lady. I've done nothing to you because you don't even know I kiki with Latoya about your wig because we, we're still filming the show. But what you know is I have been nothing but kind to you. I have been calling you. I have been letting you know, hey, girl, bring some, you know, spanks because we're going to be doing a bachelorette party. I know you got some issues with your body. So, you know, stuff like that. Like I was looking out Shade. for her. That's not <laughs> shade. Well, she talked about it at, at her party. Oh, okay. I remember when she invited us to her lovely home, and mm -hmm. I was a very kind um, guest. You know, it looked fabulous, and she went out of her way to impress us, and I even called her the next day. I was like, oh, girl, you know, you did a good job. Like, we were communicating. We were having, to me, what was the start of a friendship. And somewhere mm -hmm. went left. So, okay. Well, so, we, we know the people you don't that. communicate. I would guess we, we've yes. mentioned them prior. So, have you seen Tanya since? <laughs> Yeah, that was uh... a... <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> she is getting a real kick out of that. <laughs> what is so That's funny? Not... Because, I don't know if it's funny, because the last time we saw the thing, I think it was a wanted poster outside. Oh, they did a wanted poster Where? on the show. That's what you said the part about, yeah, when she had... Uh, Ran off to Canada or whatever. And I they, didn't see that. So Y'all aren't friends? She didn't call you? Um, You know what? I think I missed her call that day. I missed her call that day. <laughs> I cannot. I was just asking. For you a know, it just, it's just, oh, bitch. What? Did you see that audio they have of us talking about her? No. I think in a situation like that, you shouldn't lie to your partner. You don't want him to leave. She better lie. They got us. When we were at Cynthia's wedding, remember the cameraman? The, they they didn't have cameras on us, but they had our we had our mic packs on, and we were talking about. Ta I didn't. They only showed the Tanya clip about Tanya and being a big freak and how she looks so. Who guilty. said that? Me and you. I didn't say that. I said the freak part. 
Oh my god. And then you were like, we were talking about it. <laughs> Look at Candy's face. <laughs> Do you have a close up on Candy's face? Y'all don't have a camera on Candy. <laughs> Look at these damn hot mics. We were at a wedding and they were all with Cynthia. So remember when we were in the back talking? In like the bathroom? Like, in the bathroom. Are you kidding me? They're recording you in the bathroom? We were now? in the <laughs> bathroom talking and that is the audio that they have. Look at Kitty! <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> so, one of my questions is do you feel like it could possibly be more audio or things from your South Carolina trip. Yes. You think I, so? Yep. I do. Mm -hmm. Like what? Did you record any audio? I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> what I will tell you, what I will say is this. But in 45 minutes, you was listening. <laughs> no, I, something was listening. I, uh, anyway, what I, what I will say is this. No one will ever tell me I'm lying on anything because now I protect myself. Right. Okay? You're not going to lie on me because I have been falsely accused of lying for so long, even with Walter. When you said, well, I'm, I'm best friends with Walter's best friend, and he said they were dating. But they didn't want to hear that part. You know what I'm saying? They want to hear, I'm saying, yes. Well, no, I didn't tell him you was dating Walter. But the people keep saying that I'm lying, I was lying about our relationship because of Walter. And I'm like, Kenny, who I just oh. met this season, that doesn't <laughs> know me from Adam, just told y'all he has already was telling his best friend that we were dating. So what? Yeah. why do you not listen to that part? That is the part that is the truth, that I don't have anything to do with. That's I seen part. Walter not that long ago. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, the whole pan of man, he said it out his own, own mouth that I've never paid him. It's just the stuff that they choose to keep and memorialize yeah. over and over and over again. Right. I have never paid anybody. I, w I was dating Walter. I never had sex with Walter. I said all of that on the show. The whole thing about Apollo. Um, people going on camera saying, I propositioned him at, at a place in, in LA. And people keep saying, oh, she tried to sleep with him. No, bitch, I never tried to sleep with Apollo, okay? Mm -hmm. And he said that out of his own mouth. Like, so what it cleared all that up. I'm I sure. know, but I'm saying but people forget that they, people. No, they don't forget it. They see it and they choose to take sides with that part of the crazy society. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, she lied. She's like, well, tell, what have I lied about? Because I, I, everything that you have said, I've never lied up when I said Sheree was having issues and that she had been through domestic violence. Was I lying? I'm just saying that when I told you guys that some people would are trying to destroy other people, namely myself, with these things that they put out there. And it was very strategic the way they were putting things out. Y'all didn't believe me because I was a newbie. And then several years later, it happened to some of you all. <laughs> and then it became known. Again, that's why I reference some, I'm ahead of y'all when it comes to seeing things in people. But that's okay. Right. So Prophet Cleo Kenya. Oh, speaking of the prophet, oh, that's God. coming up too. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, we got like we don't have to come back. I mean, yeah. it's so much to come. Like yes, people, y'all, so it's too much to come. And then another thing, when we talking about previews, the thing I saw in a preview was it looked like dang Toya and Drew was about to have a fight on the next episode. Right, we hard. we weren't there. But the thing that tripped me out was I nobody ever told me that because no, no one ever told they me. They also either. almost come to blows at the finale. Yes. Is, uh, and they were making out at the bachelorette party. <laughs> it's like, well, dude, can I speak what is to this? They had that show. conversation on the I show, and they took that out. They did. I mean, well, they were making out, and Latoya even well, said it. Her husband says that she did not make out with him when I had to speak on it sitting on this couch. Wait, Wait what? what? She said her husband said that Drew's husband said that she did not make out with Latoya when we had. He to was speak there. On it. I didn't I'm, see him. I'm just telling you. Because I saw them. He said that he asked his wife. Oh, well, he his wife is covering up several things. And we will get to that at the reunion. Wait, I'm getting, I'm staying out of it. She tapped out. Okay. She I ta tapped out. You can tap out if you want to. <laughs> like I said. Well, like I said, don't. My issue is don't ever lie on me. Mm -hmm. Now, since I've been trashed so much about people saying I'm lying, I'm like, now I'm coming for anybody who says I'm lying about something. 
I'm mm -hmm. coming for you. When I say they made out, I have direct knowledge. Did so. your pretty hazel eyes see the make out? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I plead the fifth on both. <laughs> um, <laughs> the eyes and the I actually <laughs> believe the even gonna go into that because I don't know what they're gonna air. When yeah, let's not air. talk about that part. Let let it let it unfold, and then we yeah, can, we can deal yeah. with it at the reunion. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into the it. reunion is just weeks away, honey. Mm, I felt like we've been having pre-reunion speak on it for the last few weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said that though. That's interesting. On huh? the men's edition of Speak on It, mm. we had that conversation. Well, <laughs> anyway, look, yeah, look, like, look, like, well, look. they also feel that. There's some reason you and Candy aren't friends, and then Don Juan can't be your friend either. Oh, okay, can we talk about because it? we gotta listen. Because the thing is, again, I'm not gonna always agree with her. She's not going to always agree with me. That doesn't mean we're not gonna be friends, right? You know what I'm saying? But I tried to explain that to the people before, but I'm glad you're here to say it. Yeah, I was like, we have our own conversations outside yes, of what you do. guys see, and where you know she tells me how she feels about something, and I'll tell her how I feel, and we're done. Yeah. It's just like any other friendship out there in the world. We spoke on that. Yeah. A few weeks ago, I'll speak on it. Yeah. When I was because people feel like just because I have an opinion on yeah. either you that, and I'm like, we actually yeah. like text and like, talk, I'm like, so I'm cool like, with him. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. we text like, and talk all the time. Out of anybody on the cast, exactly. I'm closer with her outside exactly. of Candy. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. always weird when they. Have, I'm like, just because she may like say something to me or I say something, we have an opinion. That doesn't yeah. mean that our opinions be like, yeah. oh no, we don't fool yeah. each other. Block. Right. We don't. Yeah. No. I mean, I know people, sometimes I think people be wanting us not to be friends. I just, yeah, it's just like, you know, because it's me. <laughs> you, I, think it's I mean, you, you own it very well. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I think, well, what I can say that I love about Ken is what you see is what you get. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to do the fake. <laughs> I just can't do the fake. It just takes too much energy for me to do the fake. Right. It takes too much energy to lie about stuff because you always have to remember what you said. You yes. know, if you just tell the truth, you don't ever have to remember Right. You know, and if you do something that other people don't like, well, I liked it. Basically, <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the approach I take. Well, right. I liked it when I did it, so. <laughs> right. Sorry you didn't sorry, like it. not sorry. I think as a friend, you should be able to pick up the phone and say, look, girl, I didn't like that you said that. Why did you do that? The same way, you know, Latoya said this. The, anyway, she made some crazy comments on, on tonight's show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Like, you mm. think that was funny? Right. You mm. think you thought that was funny to say mm -hmm. about somebody who has had your back from day one. You think that was cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you cute. <laughs> I'm going to show you cute. Because if you don't know and you, you don't think you will get it, you're going to learn today. So learn this, today. Um, you know, relationship ended pretty fast. <laughs> that might have been one of your fastest relationships. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you have know, you ever been have a, a, a no, girl never. situation? No. You've never, even I, in a relationship with a guy, I've never been with. Oh some? no, I never had a threesome. Really? I've never, I've never had it, a threesome. Miss Twa has never had no, a threesome. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I had a threesome in a movie twice. One was in the confidant with Boris Kojo and David Banner, a movie I produced. Um, I had a threesome in that, and I had a threesome in Twa. The first, like the. One of the top 10 black films of all time. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I was a producer on that as well. I Those are the only girl-on-girl -girl situations I've had. And listen, I flirt and play with Latoya, but it's not that serious. Like, mm -hmm. I just think she's cute and it was fun. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't serious. So, so if, serious, if, if, she serious, wouldn't have, if she wouldn't have um, got buck wild and was like in everybody's face at, <laughs> at the bachelorette party. <laughs> yeah. Would you have considered? No, because at that point I had been seeing like a lot of, you know, things turn me off very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I like a lady to be a lady. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I like, you know, even even we, us knowing all the things you do, you never behave like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You never <laughs> behave like that. You don't. You don't act Damn, thirsty. All the things you do. No, I'm saying she. <laughs> all the things, things you, you do. do. I'm saying <laughs> all the things 
I'm just saying, we know that you are very open about your past, your your current, whatever. And and that's what I respect about you because you don't try to hide who you are. You live in your truth. But when you see, you know, a woman, I just like a lady to be a lady. And let me discover all of those things. Let me, I, I don't want it in my face. Like, I, I, I guess I'm like a, a guy like that. Okay. I like a lady. So I, that's why stylish. I think free code behavior just really bothers me because it's like, really, is it that serious? Like, you had to do something that bad that it was, okay. Okay, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> How you gonna say, what you gonna say? Hey, girl. <laughs> okay. I'm, I, I did not okay. name names. I'm just saying. Okay. If I'm being totally honest, which I can be totally honest with you, it is just that is how I, I look at things. Like, I like a classy, sexy person. I want to discover things about you, not just look over and you're on the floor straddling somebody with, you know, doing all kind of things, you know. Okay, so if you were, ever, if you were to ever... Dip your toe into the lady pond. Right. It would have to be somebody that's classy. And Who would be your celebrity crush female if you had to dip your toe in the lady <laughs> oh, pond? Oh, wow. That's easy. That's like a Beyonce, Rihanna. Um, there's a, I <laughs> that's everybody. No, no. There's another one. It's, I, I forget her name. Just Justin Sky. Justine oh, Sky. Justine okay. Sky is a beautiful girl. She's pretty... Like, I don't want her. I'm just saying she's a, that you is saying, a prototype. Yeah, I get what you, I yeah get what she's saying. a beautiful brown skinned girl. She's natural. Like, you know, I like that natural thing going like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, you did seem a little hurt though. You did. In that. At someone not having my back, going back to that dinner and oh. all of the things that were being said for what, an hour? Oh, okay. And it seemed like, you know, everybody was coming at me. And she sat there and said nothing, smiling across from people. Okay. That's that was bothersome to me. You got everything to say when we were at the dinner the last night at Charleston. You got everything to say, okay? Yeah, well, okay. everyone, there's so much more to come this season, <laughs> what? and I'm sure there's going to be so many more speak on it, and everybody's going to have to speak on it. Look now, this is what I don't want y'all to do. Don't be going and get mad at me every time somebody say something to me and it's it says you. No. How did you leave? How did you let them say yeah, that? Like <laughs> how I let this person. Like the whole point of this show, speak on it, is so that a person can really say their real opinion. Okay, so leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. What's going on with you, Kenya? What's up with um, Kenya more hair care? What, what you got coming up next? Oh, um, ooh, can I talk about it? I can't talk about it. Yet. Okay, well, what do you can you talk about that you want people to be looking out for? So I have a new line that is going to be in a, a new hair care line. Mm -hmm. So my second hair care line is going to be in another big box retailer oh. in June. Uh -oh. So we'll be like so. showing that some new businesses um, I'm opening and I have a recurring role on family reunions. Mm -hmm. so they can catch me on that on Netflix with mm -hmm. Richard Roundtree and, um, you know, the crew, uh, mm -hmm. Loretta Devine. Like it's some big name actors on there. It's actually one of their top rated shows. Oh, that's so. good. Yeah. And some other projects coming. Oh, yes. I'm glad uh, to some hear. Some other projects coming. Please <laughs> like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, Candy Online. And thank you for watching. Speak on it! Why are you singing? <laughs> I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree.